My season's over, dude. My, I mean, <laughs> my football season's totally over. What was that? It's mean, over. How high was it going over. to be anyway? So it's going to be good this year or better than last year, but it's not like you were winning the Super Bowl this year. As no, a fan. no, but this was an important year for me. Man, I needed to see a little progress here. I needed, you know, listen, we've been doing this for a long time, 70% of a decade, you and I, mm -hmm. and not once have I really started a season with any genuine enthusiasm. You know that about me. I know it. I knew that Todd Bowles was not the guy, said it a million times. I knew Mike McCagnan wasn't the guy, said it a million times. I knew they didn't have the right quarterback, said it a million times, although I thought Geno could maybe be salvaged, but the other guys, I knew it. This is how the Jets season starts. Now, I, I, I would take through a little journey here. I haven't done that. I have I usually do this once a year with the Jets. Yeah, and it's usually later. And it's usually much when later. It's, when it's like completely done and it's hopeless and you're looking for who you're going to draft. Correct. But it's coming right now. So to start the season, uh, finally get a tight end. You know, every the Jets have not had a modern offense. Jets finally have a tight end with some wiggle. Chris Herndon, he gets popped for PEDs. Okay. A lot of teams go through suspensions. Mm -hmm. Not a big deal. Take it on the chin. Move forward. Second preseason game. The guy they brought in from the Titans last year, Avery Williamson, who's a pretty a player. Yeah. Tackle machine, good, solid, sturdy pro, diligent pro. Rips up his ACL. You know why? Because Adam Gase forgot to take him out of the second play of the, the preseason yep. game. Adam Gase said after the Falcons, and I appreciate his candor, I guess, but he said, you know, that's actually on me. He should have been out of the game. No other starters <laughs> yeah, really? were in the game. Thanks, Adam. So he's <laughs> lost for the season, right? Week one. Week one. Jets have a 16 to nothing lead, right? 16 to nothing midway through the third quarter against a divisional rival. All right. Important game. A very important game because you got the Browns coming up on Monday. You got to play the Cowboys this year. You got to play good teams. You got to play Pat Pats twice early. What happens? They collapse. They give up 17 unanswered points. The Jets lose. Okay, okay. There's a lot of teams around the NFL that collapse. The Lions right. collapse. Other teams give up leads. It happens, right? Then all of a sudden, then the biggest defensive free agent import that the Jets had, C.J. Mosley, the opposite of Bell. We'll get to him. Le'Veon Bell right now is in an MRI tube as we actually start this show, but the defensive impact player they bring in, who, by the way, was the best player on the field against the Bills, had a pick six, made a sick play in the end zone, dropping back into coverage. C.J. Mosley hurts his groin, goes out of the game, Jets can't stop the Bills, don't know if he's playing Monday night, that's C.J. Mosley. Now, now, we get to the kicker, and this is the the funniest part of the whole thing, right? So they, the, the Jets have actually always had pretty decent kickers. You know, I went to a small school. I love Marist. You know mm -hmm. that. We have had two guys make the NFL. Two. One guy, I'm not even sure how you still say his name. Fede or Fede, I'm still not positive. And Jason Myers, yes. who somehow winds up on the Jets last year. He makes the Pro Bowl. The Jets let him go. So two guys in Marist's entire history make the NFL. Somehow one of them is on my team and they let him walk, right? They how did we, why did we lose week one? Because we couldn't kick straight. So what happens this week? Five people come in. Open try. Come on down. If you play JV soccer, we'll give you a shot. Maybe you can make the team. Literally a guy who played JV soccer came. There was a guy on the side of the road with a sign saying, please give me a chance. All right? Then, then. Did they give him a chance, by the way? Come no. on. No, they didn't, actually. Boomer and Geo tried to get it going. They actually tried to get that. They, they, they didn't give a shot, right? Watch, you probably be for the Pats. When, know, when you're, Guskowski you're, retires, he'll be the old pro kid pick, pick, pick for the Pats. Uh, Le'Veon Bell. Le'Veon Bell. The Jets finally have one of the best players in football. Plays one game. He is literally in an MRI tube right now. Don't know his status. The quarterback has motto. Is this the senior prom? <laughs> How the hell? And by the way, he might not play for months. Forget about the Browns. And oh yeah, oh yeah. We get to play on national TV on Monday night. We are going to get ravaged and embarrassed and humiliated. So I know it's a little early usually for me on my journey. Jet end of the season meter rant, but it's over. <laughs> you don't like Trevor Simeon? Ah, oh, dude. <laughs> I'm just, I'm sorry. Ty Montgomery. I had to get that off my chest. No, I, 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 clearly you had to get it off your chest. I, I feel for you in a sense. But nah, you don't. I, I, yeah, don't I, give me the pity you feel I, for me. I mean, it's, feel I, me. I feel care. for you in a funny way. Oh, because, okay. Because in a way, this was a season where That's... it was supposed to start heading in the right direction yeah. for your Jet. That's why I'm so sad. But how much of this is, is I mean, uh, Mono is nobody. Fault, Not, really. No, of course it's nobody's I, I, fault. I, I, can't, I don't even know how you get that anymore. I mean, it was... You well, said it was just the high school prom. It's like kissing. You kiss too much, you get mono. It but could be something in the shower. It could be something knows? like you know, a, a spoon in the facility. There are a million ways to transmit mono. And I love Sam. He's such a good kid. But if there's mono. one thing that's going to bring down your season, that is your quarterback. Yep. 
it's not going to be mono. It's going to be an ACL that, injury I hear you, or dude. a shoulder, a shoulder, shoulder, a clavicle like Nick Foles. Something. Got a groin. Good whatever. God it's almighty. not going to be mono. Oh, I forgot. Our starting wide receiver had a reti- basically retired yesterday. Yeah, Quincy, Quincy Anunwa. 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 Forgot about him. My bad. Yeah. That you cannot have. I, I mean, I don't think you could have a worse start to the season. <laughs> no, you can't. I like, sincerely don't. No, you can't. All hyperbole and nonsense and having fun on the radio aside, I don't think you can. Lose the way you lost <laughs> and then lose almost every impact player yeah. on your team. And especially the, the ones week. that you brought in the new one. Oh, and I forgot Quinn and Williams got hurt on Sunday. <laughs> the third overall pick got hurt, had to leave the game. 